Do you wish you could be the present mom you've always wanted to be, but still need to provide an income for your family? Are you tired of scouring the internet for legit jobs that will replace your income and that you can do from home in your PJs? Hey friend, welcome to the Virtual Assistant Mama podcast. I know you're over there Googling jobs for moms, legit work at home jobs, or smart aside hustle, yet you can't figure out how to take that first step. So instead, you stay stuck, do nothing, or start random side hustles to try to make quick money. Becoming a virtual assistant is the answered prayer you've been waiting for. My name is Ariana, and I'm a former teacher turned work at home mom who replaced my teaching income as a virtual assistant in just six months. I did this by taking a step of faith and following the dream that God placed on my heart to be home with my babies. Mama, your dreams pale in comparison to God's dreams for you. Imagine offering services that light you up, working with clients who value you and pay you what you're worth, and having a job that works around your life and not the other way around. This is the podcast for you. It's time to take that first step. Are you ready? Here we go. Do you dream of working from home with your babies by your side, watching all of their firsts and just being that present mama you've always wanted to be? In this episode, I'm going to help you figure out your three-month game plan to help you start making money from home as a virtual assistant. We're no fluff here on the Virtual Assistant Mama podcast, so we're just going to go ahead and jump right on in. In month number one, you really want to focus on setting up the foundations of your virtual assistant business. Part of that is that you want to figure out and establish your brand. So what are your brand colors? And you don't want to just think about, you know, what colors do you like? But you want to think about what colors would resonate with the types of clients I want to work with. So if you want to work with, you know, a really corporate big business, you're probably not really going to want to go with, you know, pinks and purples and all of that. You want something, you know, a little, I guess is the right word sophisticated. I don't know. I don't see a whole lot of corporate businesses going with that kind of color palette. If you're wanting to work with, you know, a very feminine brand, a mom owned business, like that color palette would work fine. So you just want to really think about that upfront when you are figuring out what color palette to do for your brand. Just think about what is going to connect with my ideal dream clients. You also want to, when you're establishing your brand, figure out what you're going to name your brand. This does not have to be complicated at all. I actually recommend just using your name. My business is Ariana Vernier LLC. Because if you come up with, you know, a really creative name, yeah, it might be pretty cool. But if you ever decide to pivot and do a different service that doesn't relate to the name that you came up with, it's a whole lot harder to go and have to change that consistently. But with, you know, using your name, you could always file a doing business as and then use a different name, if that makes sense. So I have my LLC as Ariana Vernier LLC, but then I'm doing business as Ariana Vernier Design. Okay, so my business is all around website design. So I've got design in my name, but if I ever wanted to pivot, it would still fit under the Ariana Vernier LLC umbrella. All right, in month one, you also want to focus on creating your portfolio. This is why we do your branding first, because in your portfolio, you're gonna use that color palette, that brand name you chose and all of that. In your portfolio, you're going to have a brief overview of what you can offer. You're going to have all of your packages laid out, your pricing, how people can connect with you further to see about hiring you, and all of that. You also want to make sure you have your contract in place so that it's ready to send to clients when they're ready to hire you. And you can work on doing service trainings that will help you to elevate the skills for the services that you want to offer. Now, you don't have to do paid trainings if you don't want to. You could always, you know, hit up YouTube and try to figure it out on your own. But there are some services I highly recommend doing a paid training for because then you're going to feel a lot more confident in offering that service. Month number two of your business, you're going to just hit the ground running. Month number one, you focused on getting all of your business foundation set up. Month number two, you get to announce that you're in business. You want to start networking, building relationships with people so that they can start referring people to you for that service that you offer. You get known for that service that you offer. 
You're also going to start consistently applying for jobs. Even if it's something you're not super confident you can do, apply anyway. You will be so surprised on what you can learn. You can absolutely figure out when you just hit the ground running and dive on in. This process is going to repeat. You're going to keep networking, keep applying. You're going to be doing this for the rest of your business's lifespan, okay? So networking and applying for jobs, that's super important to build in time to do that. If not daily, at least three times a week, hopefully up to five. Don't work on the weekends if you don't have to, but you do need to be consistent with this process. Okay, then in month number three, you've hopefully landed a couple clients so far. You want to take a moment to evaluate what services you're offering Are you loving them? Are you liking how you originally structured your packages? Do you need to tweak anything? And you can always shift how you're doing things if needed. The really great thing about being a virtual assistant is if something's not working for you, if you don't love the services you're offering or your packages are a little wonky, you can always change that for the next client. You can always pivot services. You can always adjust your portfolio however you need to. You get to really set this up to be exactly what you want it to be. During month three, obviously, you're also going to be continuing to network and apply to jobs. That's something we do every single month, all the time for the rest of your virtual assistant business. So that would just continue on and you would be doing your client work for the clients you've already landed in there as well. All right, so this was just really a quick overview of what you will be doing in the first three months of working your virtual assistant business. We go so in depth into all of this I just talked about and so much more inside the Virtual Assistant Mama Academy. This program is everything you need to take your virtual assistant business from zero to 60, from I don't even know what service I should offer to I've replaced my income and I absolutely love the services that I'm offering for my clients. It's got all the tools, the templates, the trainings, the tutorials, every single thing you need is in the Virtual Assistant Mama Academy. You get the accountability, the support. That way, if you ever hit a roadblock, you never, ever, ever have to feel like you're stuck there and just give up. You always have someone to answer your questions and help you to keep on going and reaching towards those goals. So I invite you to come and check out everything that's included in the program at virtualassistantmama.com. Get registered, take advantage of our amazing bonuses we have going on right now, only through the end of this week. I cannot wait to see you in there and to support you in this journey and help you just make 2024 the year that you finally get to make your dreams of working from home with your babies actually come through. So again, go to virtualassistantmama.com or find the link in the show notes. And I cannot wait to see you there. Thanks so much for hanging out with me today. I would love to bless you with a free gift as a thank you. All you have to do is leave a review of the show on Apple Podcasts, take a screenshot and send it to podcast at virtualassistantmama.com. I'll send you a code so you can snag my virtual assistant toolkit for free. And don't forget to come hang out with us in our free community, facebook.com forward slash groups forward slash virtual assistant mama. I'm so honored to support you in your journey to becoming a virtual assistant. Until next week, y'all keep following the dreams that were placed on your heart so you can be the present mama you've always wanted to be.